What's up, YouTube? It's Jake Lock the Jumper here, answering all your dunking, jumping, and fitness questions. Let's jump right to it. Our next question comes from Bob Hope, and Bob wants to know why on some days he can dunk really easy, and on others it's a struggle to even get a one-handed dunk. Well, let me begin this with a lot of times people go into the gym and they think in terms of, okay, I need to develop my quad muscles. My quads need to get stronger so I can jump higher. So I'm going to sit here and I'm going to work on the muscle and the muscle's going to get stronger and therefore I'm going to jump higher. And unfortunately, it doesn't work like that. A lot of times with jump training, it's not only developing your body to develop that strength to weight ratio, develop the functional mobility, um, and all the other attributes that come with working out. It's also training your central nervous system. And this is the the impulses that tell your muscles to fire as fast as they possibly can. Now, when you're doing, you know, CNS training like heavy weight lifting, plyometrics, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, you might not feel tired from the the actual workout, but believe me, you're really taxing your body. So sometimes you'll go in the gym and your CNS is primed, you're ready to go, you you feel wiry. That's why they come up, they have that term wiry. You feel wired and ready to go. You're just explosive. And on other days, you know, you're not firing as well. Your muscles, although they might be strong, you might be in the right positions, you might want it really bad if your if your muscles are not getting the right impulses, the signals to fire fast fast enough and fire at the right the right times you're just not going to get off the ground those days so my advice to you is if, if you're ever having one of those days where it's just not clicking it's probably because you taxed your cns already i would uh immediately stop jumping uh you know do some some recovery circuit stuff do some yoga work do something some foam rolling something light finish up the workout maybe take a day or two off and come back at it and uh, you should be uh, primed and ready to go. So there you have it. If you have any other questions, please comment them below. Please like and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, at jclarkthejumper. Hope you enjoyed this episode. God bless.